are going to discuss AMO or Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation. Why does name AMO is there? What is multidecadal in there? Now we understand that Atlantic stands there because it occurs in Atlantic Ocean between 0 to 70 degrees north. That's why it's a Atlantic multidecadal oscillation happening in Atlantic Ocean. But what about multidecadal oscillation? These oscillation or changes in temperature, sea surface temperature, is of the order of magnitude of several decades. Their periodicity ranges from 50 to 80 years from peak to peak. I will explain what does this peak to peak means. Now, to understand what AMO or Atlantic multidecadal oscillation is, it is just change in fluctuation in sea surface temperature in Atlantic Ocean between 0 to 70 degrees north. Now, multidecadal means several decades. Decade is a period of 10 years. So, AMO has several decades of periodicity. It's not very clear why AMO occurs, but there are few models and their understanding that is bringing some light to understanding the cause and effect of AMOs. AMO generally has a period of 50 to 80 years, we know that, but why is that? Uh, one of the leading theory states that, and with a little bit understanding about the two phases of AMO. The two phases of AMO are positive and negative. During positive phase of AMO, the sea surface temperature is above normal and during negative phase of AMO, it is below normal. If you can see this plot here, uh, this data go, uh, go about 150 years back. It started from approximately 1860 until now or this one is until 2007. Now uh, this uh, axis, the x axis is actually representing uh, average temperature or mean temperature over a long period of time or the usual temperature. When there is higher temperature than normal, you can see this red phase. It is said to be in positive phase. But if the temperature is less than, if sea surface temperature is less than usual normal temperature, it's called to be in negative phase. So we can see that there is an oscillation between positive and negative phase. So we have one peak here and one peak here in positive. So the difference between these two peaks is about 50 to 80 years. It's not exactly periodic. That's why we call that these circulations are quasi-periodic. They are not regularly periodic. They change their cycle between 50 to 80 years. And we can observe that there is more or there is lengthy warm pe uh, period than the colder period. Okay, let's get back to the understanding why the periodicity is so. One of the leading theory states that, and this theory comes from understanding of climate models, it states that change in salt content in ocean, in North Atlantic Ocean, drive the circulation, which in turn change thermohaline of Atlantic Ocean. Now thermohaline is the layer of ocean where there is maximum drop in or increase in temperature with depth or mathematically dt where t, t represents the temperature dt by dz is maximum when there is maximum change in temperature with uh, with the depth of the ocean that layer is called thermohaline layer Bef above thermohaline layer we have a layer of fresh water then, so imagine that we have um, uh, a slice of ocean, okay? On the topmost layer, it has fresh water because it's, it has least density. So it is at the top. So we have fresh water, then comes the thermohaline layer where change in temperature is maximum and then comes the third layer which has highest density, okay? 
The no, the circulations in Atlantic oceans are driven by a change in this middle thermohaline layer. And what caused these change or what caused change in circulation of the thermohaline layer? It its change in height increasing or decreasing it's governed by change in salt content if there is more salt content there is more heavier water and it dips down and the other way around if there is melting of ice caps or if there is more gulf stream flow in the, uh, in the atlantic ocean more fresh water comes and it speed up the oscillation which lead to warmer period in amo and the other way around. So warmer periods are related to the higher fluctuations in these thermohaline layer. All right. So to sum up all of these, AMO is change in its fluctuation in sea surface temperature over a period of 50 to 80 years. It's a quasi periodic oscillation, meaning it's not regular cycle. The cycle or the periodicity of the cycle pattern varies between 50 to 80 years. 50 to 80 years means it covers 5 to 8 decades. That's why it's called multi-decadal. Since it occurs in Atlantic, that's why it's called Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. And it is not very clear why these are occurring. The second theory I would like to tell you is not very popular one, but few people still believe in it. And they think that this is governed by a change in atmosphere, but it's still not verified how. Okay, so this is all for now and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night. Bye.